Hello everyone, this is the Flying Dutchman. Um, we're still here in Amsterdam. I thought I'd uh, just pick off, uh, pick up uh, where we left off like yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm uh, garbling my words. Um, so we're gonna go to Berlin this time. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be uh, just in time delivery, so uh, we'll have um, limited time. But. Uh, yeah, I've never been to Berlin before for some reason in this game, even though um, it's the city of my birth, so uh, I should have. But um, I'm actually now I'm glad I didn't because uh, now I get to take you guys along. So um, so we'll see how it goes. Um. um Ah, come on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I uh, want to kind of play this safe, but I do have um, some news to tell you guys. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So. Um, Yeah, boy, have I uh, have I got news for you? Um, I just uh, I was on my way back from work. I went to the to the grocery store, and uh, there was this guy standing there as usual, uh, who I uh, he you know he uh, makes money selling uh, newspapers for. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, for. Um, unemployed people you know it's kind of a, a one of those traps people fall or you know I don't know it's it's a pity because he's he's forced to sell a newspaper which talks about unemployed and uh, homeless people and the uh, help uh, thing well you know the guy is married and uh, I, I don't think he's homeless but yeah he has trouble finding a job here so um, you know I told him about my new job and uh, about my plans for the future, about um, getting a, dri a, a truck uh, driving license, and he told me he had one already, and he told me he had uh, all the licenses actually, so he can drive a bus, he can drive uh, anything, and um, you know that got me thinking. So I told him about that. Um, I asked him how he didn't have a job and um, if he tried the recruitment agency uh, here around the corner. And, um, you know, he told me they only have uh, computer jobs, so I told him about the company I'm, uh, ke I'm uh, keeping a watch on lately. Oh, sorry about that. That's not very smart at this point, but uh, yeah, I still made it. Well, let's uh, just feast your eyes. My truck. So, um, so I told him about that company and um, you know it got me thinking um, <clears throat> you know and I told him uh, why don't you try there you know I, I myself uh, pass by there every day uh, with the tram on, on my way to work because it's in the same town it's both in Delft and um, <clears throat> But he told me he didn't really feel confident enough um, because he doesn't really speak the language. <coughs> so I asked him, um, you know, I proposed to him uh, we should go together there and uh, I could uh, translate for him and uh, we could ask if they have a job for him and at the same time I can ask if they uh, uh, will take me for an internship there for uh, for my own course later but I can uh, I can start in uh, September uh, uh, you know but um, he can start immediately so it's a I don't know it's kind of a win-win situation I think he's got all the uh, the licenses he's got ADR training which they uh, want because it's a company that uh, specializes in ADR training 
So there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to work there, except maybe for the language, but um, I don't know, you should be able to take care of that. Or, you know, I don't think you need to talk too much as a, as a driver. But, uh, and, uh, you know, he, he is able to communicate with, uh, d with Dutch people in general, in general, so, um, you know. So I'm really excited about that, and he seemed quite excited himself, so, um, I'll, uh, have to, uh, fix this up, uh, a date to, uh, to go there. I'm thinking of a Monday or something. I was actually thinking of waiting a month or two to get my teeth in order and start working on my thesis, but um, now I'm actually uh, thinking of going sooner maybe, so uh, maybe next week I'll tell him uh, to go the Monday after that or something like that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, actually, now that I think about it, I don't want to let him wait uh, like a month or two. It doesn't seem, uh, I don't know. Get him in, get him in, getting him excited like that and then just uh, letting him wait, I don't know, it seems kind of stupid. So I don't want to do that. So I'll just, um, I think I'm going to go this month, which I'm pretty excited about, so because... The sooner I know, the better, and uh, I want to go there before I have the intake um, interview with with the school in Rotterdam, with the ST STC group, seafaring and transport uh, colleges or something is what it means. So they uh, specialize in seafaring, transport and logistics, and uh, and all that kind of stuff, so you can study everything there, you can uh, become a truck driver, bus driver, uh, logistics manager, whatever. Uh, and also a sea captain, <laughs> or a seafarer in any case. But, um... They all, the, pl the other plus uh, side was that they also have ADR training, which I'm gonna need for the company I, uh, I wanna go to. Which, uh, yeah, that you know, it sounds pretty awesome. I, I can do it all in one fell swoop, which uh, is more than I could ask for. And the fun thing is also that um, <coughs> I didn't know, you know, and at first I just thought I'll have to find a different company to do uh, the internship for logistics, uh, uh, logistics assistant. Uh, but uh, when I called the uh, the organization for uh, transport and logistics in uh, in the Netherlands, uh, they told me that the company I uh, I was looking for uh, actually already uh, collab co collaborated with them. So I'm able uh, um, with any luck, I would be able, I should be able to. Uh, to get exactly what I want there, and not only that, I can just um, continue from there, you know, so I can do both the logistics training as well as the truck driving training at the same company and the same school, which is uh, awesome. Um, uh, so, yeah, and so ever since I uh, got that idea, you know, I actually ever since I got the last job, the new job I uh, at the record store now, um, I drive by there, by the, I pass by with the tram, by that company, and it's, I don't know, it looks so awesome, they have this big garage, and, and they have uh, all these beautiful uh, crimson trucks, you know? with like this green, the company's logo in like uh, green letters and they, uh, they always transport these big uh, containers full of uh, dangerous toxins uh, it's, I, don't, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a sight to behold certainly 
so I'm really looking forward to uh, having any kind of association with those people it just just seems I don't know it almost feels like a like a guild uh, training you know and I like that I already heard stories like from other people from at the record store from the friends of my boss and uh, that kind of stuff that kind of people uh, about uh, the fact that uh, kind of the guild mentality is uh, returning here in the Netherlands which uh, it's actually one of the few good things I can talk about uh, when it comes to uh, economics and uh, politics and whatever here in this country. So uh, I'm very excited. And I really hope the best for the guy uh, for uh, for the guy at the grocery store. You know, he's from from Bulgaria, so he also speaks some Greek Greek because he has worked in Greece. So I always <laughs> speak in Greek to him, even though I'm not sure his Greek is any better than it, than his Dutch somehow. But um, yeah, it's it's just fun to be able to speak Greek, and uh, he you know he also speaks Greek to me automatically. So uh, and you know from time to time I use some Dutch words to uh, explain things to him if he doesn't understand or something um, but yeah I really hope uh, for him that he uh, gets a job there because that would be awesome I also like the idea of working together with this guy I generally you know I also like the idea of collegiality in general because uh, now that I work um, have a job um, I don't know, it, I like the feeling of associating with people in that way, having a kind of um, um, relationship in terms of merit and not, not so much in terms of uh, social uh, whatever, social, uh, so just based on, purely based on work, uh, uh, ethic and uh, and maybe some humor, you know, and uh, that kind of stuff. We do have some fun, but I still, you know, I try to work as hard as I can because um, I like to uh, to earn my money, to deserve it. So, and I also like to work as m as long as much as I can um, because I need as much money as possible. So, but um, so I usually just go there early, first thing in the morning. Uh, I mean, even my colleagues don't uh, don't generally show up that early. So I do think I uh, I'm making a good impression, and I'm uh, and it's good for me too, you know, um, because I have to get used to it. Because I'm gonna have to be working a lot harder if I'm gonna become a truck driver. So uh, once I, uh, yeah. Oh shit. Let's not make that mistake again. <coughs> so yeah. I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem for him though. Although I, I, I do think I want to make sure that they do have a job for him. But um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, I, I think just going there and asking them is, uh, is already uh, a lot. I've, had, I've uh, tried to help this guy out a few times before um, with some uh, papers he needed to uh, take care of and stuff so I looked it up on the internet for him what he had to do and uh, that kind of stuff because he needed to take some extra training for something and that kind of stuff but uh, yeah oh shit let's not stop too soon because I do need to be able to see what's coming Okay, there's a truck. Okay, let's just take 
the risk. So yeah, um, so yeah, also work was also okay today. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it because I was, uh, yeah, as I said, I was still recovering yesterday, and um, but uh, I was, I felt okay today. I had put on the the alarm clock and. Um, I woke up uh, normally, without uh, difficulty. Oh, should I think I should slow down a bit? Uh, I was lucky this time, but I shouldn't uh, risk too much. Um, so I woke up okay. So I decided to go, and um, it, you know, it was kind of harder than usual. Even though there was less to do, or there was, it wasn't that hard or something but I just kind of felt uh, a bit uh, you know not 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 too much informed but I did okay and I finished everything I started and uh, I worked six hours even got uh, got my boss talking about money um, because I need to pay the dentist soon so uh, we'll see But yeah, I really find uh, the whole thing very poetic. The trucking company uh, on the same uh, route to my job, and um, it's the company itself is located on on a street in Delft, which has the same name as the street I live on, <laughs> and it even has a bunch of other streets in the neighborhood which have the same names as other streets in my neighborhood and that kind of stuff. So it almost seems like some kind of uh, synchronicity thing going on, but yeah, I'm not gonna uh, count on that. But uh, it does it does have a kind of a poetic sound for for my tastes. I like these kind of things if they work out like that. And as I said, the trucks are beautiful. I don't know much about. Uh, you know toxic uh, substances and that, that kind of stuff they uh, transport um, and what the conditions are for those and what the ADR training means and uh, um, how do you say uh, pertains uh, but uh, I don't know it seems you know it has a real air to it and uh, it seems like something uh, worthwhile you know something uh, something worth putting some effort into and it's a family company or that's what they say that's what they uh, pride themselves in and I also like that about it as I said the guild uh, mentality so uh, you know If nothing else, I can uh, kiss some ass there, because I uh, and I mean heart, um, heartfelt, you know. I I can uh, because I, I'm the kind of guy who likes to flatter people in general, and I also like to be flattered. But I'm not very good in taking compliments, to be honest. But uh, although I've I've been getting better at it, I think. But I I generally like to make compliments uh, and that kind of stuff, definitely. And you know. As I said, I also might get an advantage by bringing bringing them someone new to the workforce whom they can hire immediately if they you know if they need anything. But maybe just the gesture might be enough. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. For now, uh, for now, I have Euro trucks, which I'm plenty happy about. And there's more to come, so uh, I'm not uh, complaining in that sense. And I have a job, and I have uh, some stability, so I'm not. Uh, there's no hurry for now.
77. Yeah, I'll uh, need to take a rest soon. Again, um, let's see. Let's see where we can go. Hanover, Maxenburg. I think. Um, let's see how much time we have. Three hours. Okay. I think I'm gonna skip one again. I generally like to do that because I want to be as close as possible to my destination. Um, because I want to, um, you know, I don't want to waste time, so, um, um, if I have little time left after resting, I want to be as close as possible, obviously, but, um, uh, Well, usually it doesn't really matter, but, um, yeah. So we're gonna skip this one. And we're gonna stop just before Magdeburg. Oh. Oh. Well, lucky again. So yeah, even though I was in Amsterdam, again I didn't uh, get the chance to show you my garage, but uh, whatever. We'll get to it someday. I don't even know if it's necessary, it's just a typical garage, only it's, it's a big one and they uh, got, I, I, you know, I've got my own tank station. It's definitely something. It's it's a uh, it's handy although I haven't really used it because I rarely ever even uh, stop uh, in my hometown because I generally just like to drive around I don't really care about my garage <laughs> uh, although I should yeah I uh, I should buy a new one now or uh, yeah the next thing the next thing I'm gonna do I I've already pimped up all my trucks because I want to drive around in them at some point um, so the next my next priority is to buy a new garage I'm gonna start in my own country as I've said <laughs> and I'm uh, close already uh, financially I need about uh, 180,000 I think so uh, we'll get around to it And then we'll have to uh, buy some more trucks. Uh, but at least now I can order them f uh, f uh, online. Uh, which I haven't uh, gotten around to uh, yet either, so... Uh, pretty excited about that as well. So yeah, even in the game we're st we still have a long way to go, uh, which... I'm actually pretty happy about because I'm, I'm planning on spending a lot of time in this game. But uh, yeah, I should be careful because I also want to play some Baldur's Gate and stuff. And uh, that game is even bigger and, and there's also Baldur's Gate 2 to play so... Um, yeah, that's gonna be a long term project. Uh, for real. So I should get around to that too. I mean, uh, I you know I just get excited about uh, my stories, and I want to uh, because I've already noticed that uh, Euro Trucks is my uh, news game because it's also for me it's kind of hypnotic. You know I can just kind of zone out and or zone in and just uh, play in the zone and or you know do all the motions and uh, and stuff. But my head is still uh, free, so I can talk about stuff. So I like to talk about my uh, news and stuff on Eurotrucks. Well, in Baldur's Gate, even though you'd think it's uh, easier, and it's easier uh, for me to uh, drink some coffee or uh, smoke a cigarette while playing Baldur's Gate, uh, that's actually probably also the reason why I'm not so uh, 
as able to talk about um, news and uh, things happening. Although the other factor probably is the, the fact that there is more dialogue and I have to read things aloud or just uh, make a kind of a summary of what is being said because uh, not everything is recorded as well. It's not, uh, how do you say, uh, not everything uh, is uh, voiced in or uh, any, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't know how you call it, but you know what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> so I have to read it aloud. So, you know, I can also not really uh, concentrate on uh, on talking about other stuff. And I also, on the other hand, the third thing, of course, is that I, you know, Baldur's Gate is more story oriented and I, uh, I kind of want to play more in character when I'm playing an RPG, so um, that's also an aspect of it. So I guess Baldur's Gate, you could say, is more like a kind of a vehicle for me now to to express kind of my creative uh, juices, you could say, uh, especially in regards to uh, storytelling, I guess, or uh, character uh, creation. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue uh, tomorrow. Uh, good night, everybody. Well, and good morning. Let's see how we're gonna continue. Or, yeah. It's not so much a question of how, but more of. Uh, if? Well, I don't know. We're, we're gonna continue, obviously. Back on our journey. So yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to, to playing some more Baldur's Gate. I, uh, but I just had to record this video because I had these news and uh, and I was so excited. And it's got to do with trucking, you know. So then then I'm gonna have to play some Euro trucks to tell you guys about it. So Eurotrax is by kind of newsfeed and uh, Baldur's Gate is my uh, um, my movie game, so to speak. Come on, I need to go. What the fuck, man? I mean, seriously, what a fucking asshole. Oh, sorry about that. But this time it, it really wasn't my fault, I mean... But yeah, I, I like this aspect of the game, uh, the AI. It's kind of weird. Like, I don't know, I, I'm not sure if the AI for Euro Trucks 1, which I've also played, uh, I'm not sure if it was better. Because there, if you made a mistake or if you uh, cut somebody off, um, they just laid on the horn, you know, and here they don't do that for some reason. Um, and I, I don't know, I would like it if they made their presence a little more felt because sometimes they just, they're just invisible till it's too late, you know, and um, you just end up crashing into them. Um, well, but at the same time, um, driving, speaking, um, they do seem smarter. I mean, there's also the factor that uh, there are accidents in the game, or at least for so far, for as yeah, as far as I've seen, there are accidents in the game. So you you might end up at some point in a traffic jam because there's uh, there's been an accident or something, as you may have saw seen on the, my first video. There was a short uh, obstruction of the road, but it it didn't take too long. But sometimes it takes longer. So, there's that part. Um, but yeah, and but yeah, and also the fact that sometimes they cut you off and sometimes they let you pass. You know, it's uh, interesting. 
there does seem to have been some put some thought put into it. Um, but yeah, there's also other details I've been uh, paying attention to in this game. For example, the you know. Uh, when I first started playing out and when I went to England for the first time I didn't even catch the the fact that there's a difference between uh, the miles and the kilometers you know that that's a factor in the game so you have like the traffic signs that say 80, 80 miles and then your navigation device tells you to go 97 and it's like hell you, you I can't drive 97 it's impossible for me I mean, if I go so fast, I mean, my truck hardly goes over 90, and, and even at 90, it's uh, I can't control it. And everybody's driving, like, at 80 miles an hour, and I have no idea what... Uh, when I started out, I had no idea um, why my navigation device would tell me to go so much faster than... <laughs> <laughs> the, the traffic sites. Uh, told me because yeah, I was like what the fuck I mean is that some kind of weird British thing like driving on the left side that they just let you drive like 20 miles over the limit now nah, well I don't know around 15 miles or something or 15 kilometers or something over the limit but at some point it hit me obviously um, but I, you know just a whole it's pretty surrealistic if you think about it England is pretty uh, uh, weird in that sense but yeah we'll get to England at some point too I actually I'm I don't think I feel confident enough yet to record myself driving around in England because uh, although now I have the steering wheel on the right side it might be easier because it's uh, quite recent actually recently that I that I installed it there I'm actually thinking of um, a, um, using it on the right or you know um, a driving uh, with my steering wheel with my uh, dri with the driver's seat on the right um, until I get used to it and then I'll change it back because I like to um, how do you say um, Um, yeah, I like the challenge. I like to keep challenging myself. I like to find ways to uh, to not get used to things. But um, at the same time, I I need to get used to it um, because I really want to be able to do this in my sleep. But. Um, So that's why I'm gonna keep driving like this till I'm used to it, and then I'll change it back. I'll s we'll see when it happens. I don't know, but you'll notice probably. Because I, so one day I'm just gonna start the video, and then my my steering wheel be wheel will be on the on the other side. So you'll probably be uh, surprised as well, except now I've told you already, but uh, I'm not going to tell you when it happens. So. like in Euro Trucks 1 I've already finished I've already uh, it's yeah it's one of the first places you go to if you start out in the Netherlands yeah. but um, here I yeah for some reason I never got around to it so uh, we'll do something about that right now we're almost there I think I have one I have 
yeah, two hours, I have 20 minutes, uh, I can make it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I st yeah, stop talking, I just think I need to concentrate more here, because it's now uh, back to, uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty tight in here, need to be careful, because I don't want to damage anything. Although, yeah, well, let's not uh, jinx it again, shall we? But, uh, let's see. Almost thought I was going to crash into the guy. Uh, so, yeah. If the traffic light only... Uh, Turn to green, we might be able to make it. Wow, what action! So, yeah, I've had to re redo this a couple of times. Oh, look, it's a TV tower, the fancy home. Nice, right there in front of us. Well, we did get to see some uh, something uh, in Berlin. Let's take a nicer look at it. Look how big it is. Beautiful. Let's look at my truck a little. There I am. Oh, it's green. So yeah, we're in Berlin. I might have just uh, uh, torn down a traffic sign, but yeah. Somehow that's always a given in this game. Ah, oh, there's uh, lots of stuff to explore. Um, yeah, it's really new for me. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Okay, let's uh, take a nice and uh, safe turn here. Okay. Again with the uh, all right, jam pack parking nuts. Although it's not so bad. Okay, let's see. Let's get in a corner here. Let's see how I'm gonna fix this. That's a close one. Uh, are we gonna take care of this? Th this one is challenging. Third one in a row like this. Close quarters. Oh. Well, here comes your ice cream. <laughs> Actually, I bet you never expected your ice cream man to drive such an awesome truck, huh? Need to get a bit, a bit more to the left, a bit more to the right. Let's see how this is gonna go. Wow, why is this going so damn? Uh... 
Yeah. It's just a um, perspective, I think, is not too. Uh, so, yeah, I need to get it nice and in line first. And then I can kind of drive it in there, but on the other hand, I do need to. No! Yeah, do need to pay attention. Alright, let's see. Still haven't damaged it, sorry about the pause. I still, you know, maybe I should just go a little more like this. Alright, we'll see. Actually, let's go a little farther. Um, No, 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 little for, little, how much time do we have? One hour, okay, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna need one hour to uh, park this thing, but uh, certainly appreciate it, because um, I do need to make a chance. Okay, we're almost there. Little patience. It's a toil of love, definitely. We're almost there. A little more to the right, to the left. Okay. Yeah! No! Come on. <laughs> Sorry, got too excited. Alright, we're there, people. Yes! Well, this does give me uh, quite a kick, I have to say. And we uh, made it another level. Well, I think this was uh, definitely worth the trouble. So, um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed, people. I'm gonna let you um, watch me level up. Um, yeah, let's do another long distance actually. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I uh, definitely did. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop recording, maybe do some uh, exploring. Or you know what? I feel generous today, so I'm I'm gonna take you take you uh, with me uh, while I'm exploring uh, Berlin a bit till I get to the. Uh, um, repair shop because I do need to repair my uh, my truck so yeah we're just gonna go like this usually I take a, a route because I want to discover the the shops and the recruitment agencies and whatever and uh, then I usually go to the repair shop and and park even though actually I don't need to rest right now so I might just um, stop somewhere else or well I still need to go to the repair shop so uh, we'll see what I'll do maybe I'll um, just uh, do, do some more jobs uh, after I stop recording but I also want to play some Baldur's Gate so I might just do that some other day yay recruitment agency Let's see, what was the next, uh, oh yeah. Shouldn't, uh, no. Uh, okay, just straight ahead. Actually, no, let's just go um, to the left here. Oh shit, I should have, well, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. It's not like I have anything uh, at stake right now, so we'll just uh, take a detour, whatever. Make a detour. Well, you know what? I'm feeling extra generous, so we're just gonna 
you know, make a, a round of the city. <clears throat> so let's see what else is there to see. There's the sand builders, uh, Euro goodies in VFD. Um, and a motel. So we're just going to go around. And then I'm going to stop at the uh, repair shop. Come on. All right. So yeah, this is fun. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a special occasion. I mean, uh, I was excited about taking you guys to Berlin, and um, so I want to show you guys uh, everything about it. Although I have to say, um, yeah, except for the TV uh, tower, um, I can't say that there's anything uh, familiar here. Which is a pity, even though uh, I have to say, um, oh shit, whom did I crash into? Where did, when did that happen? Oh well, oh, oh wow, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm driving like a maniac, but that's mostly the FPS right now. So yeah, I really need to get to the repair store. It's a pity about my money, but um, Luckily, I didn't have enough anyway to um, to buy a garage yet, so... Ah, whatever. It's a pity. I, I did the whole uh, video I did flawlessly. Whatever. I might just reload after this. I mean, who cares? Um, and just do the exploring anew on my own and just save some money because... Uh, I don't think this is important. I mean, that fucker uh, probably had it coming. So yeah, I'm I'm all for safety. Um, but not if my computer's lagging. I mean, I'm sorry. And not if I'm not on the job. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I realize it's the most evil thing. Uh. <laughs> and every time I make myself laugh, I, um, I have to cough. But yeah. You know, um, I wonder if um, making yourself laugh is in any indication um, for some kind of psychosis or something. But um, yeah, I hope not, because I like to think uh, that I'm quite. Um, do I still have? Okay. That I'm quite, uh, I don't know, you know, have things under control, but um, yeah. But boy, I have to say, 400 euros for a crash is not, um, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't seem like a lot of money. So yeah, I nobody's perfect, so. Um, I had another accident. At least my job went smoothly and uh, I got to show you guys around in Berlin. Oh, there's even a bus stop here. 
I um, I watched those videos from uh, Squirrel uh, Productions or whatever. The 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 other uh, the about biggest uh, YouTube trucker channel where he went and uh, took took a took a look at uh, behind the scenes of uh, SES software. So, um, and they explained like about the coach uh, simulator, which I'm pretty excited about. It would be fun also, a nice change of pace, you know, from all the trucking. Just uh, do some tourism uh, work, that would be fun. Oh, it's the same shop! Of course, yeah, so sometimes the trucker, uh, the truck, um, sto uh, the truck uh, store is uh, also a repair shop. And it's a man. I uh, needed to discover one of those, or I already did. But uh, yeah. So, uh, folks, uh, this this is it for today. I'm gonna repair my shop and uh, um, and park this thing. So uh, boring stuff. So I'm not gonna bother you any longer. So I hope you had fun, and uh, I'll see you next time. So goodbye.